The Osu community is never wrong. I'm really not liking these maps anymore. So don't Can be somebody mad that I'm going to map, rant, please? but I'll mod with if my rant. Please don't. Map, if this I don't know ranked, what I'm going to do with I'll my life anymore. Game. You should retire from mapping. This is f***ing shit. Okay, maybe the community can be wrong sometimes. Genryu Kaiko is one of the most legendary maps of all time. From its creation in May 2014, this map has had no shortage of legendary plays and controversy, even to this day. Today, let's take a deep dive into this map's notable scores. But first, a bit of history. If it wasn't already clear by the intro, people weren't pleased with this map. In order to truly understand why, we first have to look at the person behind the map, Hollow Wings. Hollow Wings is by far one of the most polarizing figures in the Osu community, especially in the past before his maps were considered to be actually good. He started out innocently enough, mapping Toho songs that were interesting in their own right, but then he found Halazi, and he mapped and ranked Sentimental Skyscraper. Not only were the patterns strangely spaced and organized, but this map was also, and still is, hard, much outside the skill level of the general population at the time. For that reason, a lot of people discredited the map. But you know whose skill level was also outside of the general population at the time? Ruruchi. He FC'd it while it was still qualified, being the only FC on the map's leaderboards for 4 years. Anyways, this is a Genryu Kaiko history video, not a Sentimental Skyscraper one. Four days after Sentimental Skyscraper was ranked, Hollow Wings would return to remap the song behind his first ever map, Genryu Kaiko. The response was mixed, to say the least. While Ruruchi's FC on Sentimental Skyscraper seemed to put people's minds at ease over the raw difficulty of the map, Genryu Kaiko seemed to be different. It included more awkward jumps during the verses, where the sliders would be almost vertical. The streams were much longer than people were used to at the time, and the spacing was unfathomable. And then, the ending. This map was something very special. Despite the constant arguments about whether a map this orthodox could actually be ranked, it was. Believe it or not, it's possible to not agree with the style, but realize how much of a breath of fresh air a map could be. And thus, after a few more road bumps, Genryu Kaiko was ranked. While at first, the leaderboards don't look anything like Everything Will Freeze, in the sense that it was filled with halftime scores, it looked equally daunting to FC, except for two people, those being HVIC225 and Index. It's impossible to talk about the OSU community in 2015 without talking about HVIC225 and Index. Those two were head-to-head, -head, with HVIC225 and Index going back and forth having the highest PP play and in the rankings, while Index, being the more consistent player of the two, given his last journey home Hard Rock FC, did have number one on the map, only getting four misses, HVIC225, the tv size hidden double time player, was shortly behind, having 14 misses, but nearly identical combo. Considering the skill set HVIC225 was known for was way different than that of Genryu Kaiko, him getting number two on the map is an absolutely incredible feat. In order to gauge the difficulty of this map properly, and to realize how good Index's score is, let's take a look at his replay. The song structure itself is rather repetitive, and the map more or less reflects it. There are three sections that repeat throughout the song. Instrumental section. Calm vocal section. And hype vocal section. Starting off with the instrumental section. This part features not much more than 16 note streams increasing in spacing, as well as awkward curved sliders. The calm vocal section introduces this very awkward mapping style in which the drums in the background are mapped to almost vertical circle and long slider jumps. Then right before the hype vocal part, short slider spam is introduced. Then finally the hype vocal part, which takes similar mapping structure to the instrumental part except for having significantly more spacing. This trend more or less repeats throughout the map, increasing in spacing, awkwardness, and stamina depletion until the very end of the map where you given these jumps. It looks like this map would not see FC runs for a while. And it wouldn't. Aside from a failed attempt from Index, in which he replicated his exact combo but this time on an SS run, this map would not see any notable runs. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that while the aim section of this map is incredibly awkward, the rhythm itself is very easy to follow and getting high accuracy isn't much of an issue. 
especially considering the map's Yo. OD. Of course, that is neglecting slider ends being dropped, which is almost guaranteed to happen given the high velocity of these sliders. So, how long do you think these two scores would last? One month? Two? Surely not longer than three, right? Well, it actually took one and a half years until the end of 2016. Totori, more commonly known as Rust Bell, would be the one to do it, holding an absolutely incredible FC until the very last stream of the map, where he would miss on the two very last circles. But is that really the score that overtook Index? That's what the leaderboards would tell you. But what if I told you there was a figure who actually defeated Index's run after only three months? Who would be the one to do that? That's right, it's our good friend, Cookie Z. As you probably know by now, Cookie Z was banned from 2013 to late 2015, meaning scores he set during that time did not show up on the map's leaderboard. However, he still played, and during 2015 he streamed some of these play sessions, and one of which featured this run on Genryu Kaiko. Not only did he defeat Index's run, not only was he the first one to FC, but he only missed one slider end while doing so, and it wasn't even on the final sliders. So while Rustbell's run on Genryu Kaiko is still absolutely incredible, and cemented his position as a legend in the community, Cookie Z was just one step ahead of all competition. In similar fashion to my Everything Will Freeze video, let's ask ourselves the question, who would be the second person to FC this map? Well, throughout 2017, some new faces appeared on the leaderboards. Idki, believe it or not, was the closest to an FC behind Rustbell, getting a similar choke and missing three of the last five notes of the final stream on the map. What's interesting to note about this particular play is that it shows a rare example of Idki, a player known to have incredible mental fortitude and rarely succumbing to nerves, actually break down and choke several slider ends and a lot of accuracy before actually missing on the last stream of the map due to nerves. Happy Stick, another absolute legend in the community, got himself a decent run with similarly excellent accuracy moving into the end section, but actually missed on a stream before the crazy sliders. He, too, found himself missing on each of the spaced parts between the slider span. The Poon had a run with decent combo that missed quite a bit at the end of the map, but unfortunately the replay for this run no longer exists. And then you have Wub Wub Wolf. He missed twice on the stream right before the final instrumental of the song, and then missed twice on the final two notes of the final stream of the map, like every other player has up until this point, excluding Cookie Z. But unlike the others, he did this with Hidden, which made the streams exponentially harder to hit. Also, remember Ruruchi? The first person to FC Sentimental Skyscraper, and who reaffirmed the player base that that map was indeed playable? Yeah, he couldn't even pass Genryu Kaiko. Hey guys, Editor Steven here again. Apologies for the poor mic quality, I'm editing this on my laptop, which is much better than editing on Sony Vegas. Anyways, while doing some last minute research, I found a play from Fiery Rage in which he got an S rank. I'm not sure if this is the first S rank, it looks like it is, but he got 4 slider breaks throughout the duration of the map, 3 of which being in the second half. Do your research properly before editing, kids. All of these players, except Ruruchi, were able to topple Index's choke, but none were able to defeat Rust Bell. There's one last notable score that I'd like to bring up from this time period. Wobblewolf's hidden score is, in and of itself, quite ahead of its time. But what if someone played with Hidden and Hard Rock simultaneously? Better yet, what if someone got onto the top 50 leaderboard with that mod combination? Take a good look at this leaderboard. Tell me if there's anything interesting that catches your attention. That's right, in a league of his own, Cookie Z managed to make the top 50 of this map's leaderboard with Hidden and Hard Rock. This run, despite being with Hidden and Hard Rock, was not only 30th on the map's leaderboard, but it didn't even have the lowest miscount accuracy or combo. So let's recap what just happened. Rust Bell, along with Idki, would manage to FC the entire map but missed on the last stream. Happy Stick missed on a stream before the crazy sliders. 
The Poon is believed to have missed on one of the easier streams before the crazy slider section, and Wolf missed on the same stream Index missed on nearly two years before, and missed twice on the last stream of the map, but with Hidden. All caught up to speed? Good, because this is where things would get interesting. The year is now 2018. Rafis starts off the year in thunderous fashion, stealing the number one global position from Cookie Z with a hidden double time FC on Necro Fantasia, also getting himself the PP record. While this was an absolutely historic moment, something seemed off. Around the corner was a Chilean player named Mathy. Incredible player in his own right, one that never got the recognition from the community when it mattered, the player who single-handedly brought Osu into the new age of PP farming, for better or for worse, at the time was just seen as a regular farmer. But unlike regular farmers, he was actually climbing up the leaderboard, faster and faster and faster, picking up momentum, making history as he achieved not one, but two 800 PP plays in one day. But was he just a hidden double-time farmer? Well, on one March 25th, 2018, seemingly out of nowhere, Mathy did this. It may have taken almost three years, but what better of a person to get the first FC on the map's leaderboard than Mathy, who a month later would fill the same position on the global performance leaderboard that Cookie Z had filled the year before. Someone had finally done it. An iconic song from the Osu community, one that was featured in Saki's brilliant Osu memories, was finally slain. For the second time, but the first one on the map's leaderboard. So, what next? Well, truth be told, not a lot of much. Not long after Mathy's play, Firebat92 would try the map, getting one single miss on the last stream and slider breaking just before it. And that would be the end for a while. The map had been satisfyingly concluded. Mathy, the player who replaced Raphis as number one, finally broke a curse that only Cookies he had broken before. The community was satisfied. Except for one person, named Idki. Remember him? Remember his previous run? having the only other choke on the last stream beside Rustbell in late 2017? In 2019, he got his revenge, doing what Index had failed to do years prior. An SS. A perfect playthrough of the map. Now the community surely must have been satisfied with the leaderboards of this map, right? Right? It seemed so. The year switched to 2020. In September, Cappy got himself a one miss slider and FC, on the last slider of the map mind you, and two weeks later, Zilver15 did the same but on a much less suspecting slider. With there now being four FCs on the map's leaderboard, it seemed like there was only one hurdle left to overcome. A modded FC. There were two options to conquer this accomplishment. Either Hard Rock, which was significantly harder, but had several contenders for the first FC, including Idki, Spare of Arvalian, and Fiery Rage, who each had respectable Hard Rock only runs on the map in 2020, or Hidden, which was easier than Hard Rock, but still had Wobbleful's run from three years prior as number one on the mod's leaderboards. Well, on October 14th, 2020, an unsuspecting Swedish player named Reedcat would be streaming attempts of the map with Hard Rock. And he would do this. No fucking way, bro. What? At a time where only four other people were able to secure S ranks, obviously with no mod, 
Reed Cat did Hello? that. To say this play is absolutely mind-boggling is absolute injustice. All eyes were now on Reed Cat as we awaited another update on his Genryu Kaiko journey. We wouldn't have to wait long, as in December, he would do this. He unfortunately slider broke on one slider and missed on the subsequent space stream, hitting the end space stream again. And then... Well, nothing. That would be his best hard rock score on Genryu Kaiko. He had come so close, twice, but could not complete the FC. And neither could anyone else on Team Hard Rock. It was Hidden's time to strike back, and their representative was Zudinator. Wait. Wait! Oh my god! This run is absolutely mental. While it sucks that Reed Cat never got the Hard Rock FC he was looking for, these streams with Hidden are nothing to be scoffed at. And that is where Genryu Kaiko stands today. A map once hated for being too difficult and abstract for the player base now sits with five victors, including one SS and one hidden FC. But I don't think this is where the leaderboard will stand for long. A Hard Rock FC, which has been proven to be doable by Reedcat, might be around the corner. Hopefully this video might inspire some out there to take on the challenge themselves, but be warned, it is not a forgiving one. Thanks for watching.